Apple is vowing to fight a judge's order to help the FBI break into a phone recovered from one of the San Bernardino shooters. At issue, everything from privacy to the limits of encryption. I'm joined now by Jonathan Hafetz, Heaton Hall Associate Professor of Law. Very nice to see you, Professor. Thanks for your time. Uh, glad to be here. So broadly speaking, does this case potentially open up a Pandora's box on issues involving privacy and technology? I think that's exactly what it does uh, by, uh, I think, the concern uh, that Apple uh, has conveyed is that by asking it to design uh, software and to take other means to uh, do an end run around the encryption, uh, it, it, will it could have a lot of uh, consequences, not simply allowing for the FBI to access this particular phone, but uh, it could be used more broadly. Uh, and also it could set a precedent that undermines um, the privacy of communications that's achieved through encryption. So just for a moment, I want to recap what Apple CEO Tim Cook said. And basically he said, now the U.S. government has asked us for something we simply do not have and something we consider too dangerous to create. They've asked us to build a back door to the iPhone. So he is vowing to fight this judge's order is there any sort of precedent for Apple to fight this and win? Uh, I, I, there, there certainly are uh, precedents in, in a, in a, at, a, at a general level, um, uh, although I think that this particular issue um, is raising a lot of questions of, uh, of, of first impression. Uh, and it's obviously also a very high stakes battle given the prominence uh, of of the of the case, which which will inevitably create some kind of uh, support for um, forcing uh, Apple to do uh, whatever the FBI is asking it to do to allow for the access to the communications. Given the gravity of the San Bernardino shootings, I think it's important to remember uh, what some of the large uh, broader in, uh, implications um, of of this uh, order would be for privacy. Uh, and, the, and the security of communications. And I think, uh, it, it, as you said earlier, this is really something that could open a Pandora's box. And I, that's why I think Apple uh, has decided to draw a line in the sand and to really fight this. Before we touch on some of those privacy and security issues, haven't authorities after 9-11, though, been given more power to investigate terrorism or acts of terror through any means possible? I mean, doesn't Apple have less of a case now? Well, in that sense, in that sense, yes, I think that there's been a increase in uh, legal authority for the government and support for the government to uh, intercept uh, to to uh, capture communications. On the other hand, uh, I think that in a number of ways uh, we saw the government, uh, uh, various government agencies, going too far. And I certainly think the revelations of former NSA contractor Edward Snowden in June 2013 uh, underscored uh, the risk to uh, privacy, both through cell phone communications, through internet communications, and has pr prompted a, a backlash. I mean, Apple and, and a number of other companies uh, lost what's estimated perhaps billions of dollars uh, based on the Snowden revelations, which showed that their, uh, their devices uh, were uh, vulnerable to government surveillance and interception and prompted those companies, including Apple, to design the type of um, uh, encryption software that could prevent that from happening again. So, uh, so on the one hand, yes, there's been an increase in, in government authority in light of terrorism, but there's also been a backlash against that uh, and one that corporations are under pressure uh, if nothing else, financial pressure to demonstrate that their devices are secure. Do you have any strong feeling as to how this case might work its way through the courts or end up? Well, it's difficult to handicap uh, uh, this one. I, I think that, um, you know, I think it's going to turn ultimately on uh, a, on, on the risks that, uh, that that are that are foreseen by requiring Apple uh, to do this. And it, it what might sound very simple, saying, look, the company should cooperate and do whatever is necessary to allow for access uh, in order in a case of this importance. I think it's going to turn on, on the demonstration of uh, or should turn 
and be informed by the demonstration of the consequences uh, that this could have, uh, many of them, some foreseen uh, and some unforeseen. Jonathan Hafetz, thank you so much for your expertise on this. Appreciate it. Glad to join you. I'm Rhonda Schaffler for The Street.